In this video, we are going to talk about is the United States a safer place to work in 2019? Employers in the early days of the American Industrial Revolution did not take the necessary steps to protect their work crews, nor did they keep track of the number of deaths and injuries that occurred on the job. Occupational Safety and Health Administration was founded by the federal government in 1971 after decades of unregulated workplace risks were discovered. Since the establishment of the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, occupational injuries have decreased from 11% to less than 4% in the United States. Despite the fact that much has changed for the American workforce, there are still many questions about whether or not the United States is a safer place to work in 2019 than it was five years ago. In today's world, there are still several industries that suffer from high rates of worker injuries and fatalities. As a result, companies are constantly looking for new and innovative ways to protect their employees while also recouping the lost production time that arises from workplace accidents. As an industry leader in the distribution of performance and safer chemicals, U.S. Standard Products work is primarily focused on how to increase employee safety through the use of higher quality equipment and procedures. In this section, U.S. Standard Products presents an overview of the industries that suffer from the greatest number of occupational injuries and illnesses. Injuries during the construction process Although the construction industry employs less than 5% of the total workforce in the United States, it is responsible for more than 20% of all workplace fatalities. According to U.S. Standard Products, while the number of fatalities has reduced over the last five years, the worldwide increase in demand for more construction may be exceeding the ability of construction businesses to protect their workers from damage, which is a concern. While falls account for the majority of construction-related injuries and deaths, other job site hazards, such as electricity and heavy machinery, are responsible for a significant number of other injuries. U.S. Standard Products has made it a goal to enhance public knowledge of these dangers while also providing the most up-to-date personal protective equipment available. Injuries resulting from installation and maintenance Because of the extensive hiring of undocumented employees in the maintenance and service industries, it has been difficult to tally down the number of injuries that have occurred. Despite this, fatal injuries in the installation and maintenance industry continue to account for more than 3% of all workplace deaths and the industry faces a variety of occupational risks that are similar to those encountered in the building industry. Injuries in the Manufacturing Industry Since the establishment of the Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA, manufacturing workplace injuries have seen remarkable reductions, perhaps more than in any other industry. Over the previous 25 years, manufacturing injuries have reduced by more than 60%, according to the most recent data available. Employees in the industrial industry have reported improved safety conditions as a result of technology advancement, especially robotics and artificial intelligence, according to U.S. Standard Products. Injuries resulting from transportation Injuries in the transportation industry are particularly alarming because people who are wounded are frequently the victims of a commercial vehicle or public transportation mishap. It is as a result of this that the transportation business is tightly regulated and vulnerable to personal injury lawsuits brought by non-workers. Nonetheless, the vast majority of occupational injuries in the transportation industry come as a result of inadequate loading methods or careless drivers backing into other employees. Additionally, legal experts point out that the number of deadly incidents in the transportation industry has significantly climbed over the last 10 years. Injuries to First Responders Naturally, people who put themselves in harm's way to protect and rescue others are the ones who are most at danger of suffering a workplace injury. The majority of paramedic injuries are caused by overuse, which results in the types of injuries that are frequent among athletes. Police officers and full-time firefighters, on the other hand, are exposed to a variety of potentially dangerous chemicals and conditions, which accounts for the vast majority of injuries among first responders. United States Standard Products understands that high-quality workmanship requires workplace safety to be maintained. It is for this reason that they are one of the most trusted suppliers of job site safety equipment and environmentally friendly industrial cleaning supplies. So, that's it for today's video. What are your thoughts on our video? Please let us know in comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification to our channel before you go. Thank you so much for watching.